For Donald Trump's entire life, before becoming a politician, he was a strong, strong supporter of abortion, verging on an enthusiast. He was the kind of guy who would say, what are we going to do about this? When a woman told him he impregnated her. He told that story in 2004 on Howard Stern's radio show. Donald Trump said, you know, all the time it was like, excuse me, what happened? And I said, well, what are we going to do about this? She said, are you serious? It's the most beautiful day of our lives. I said, oh, great. And now Donald Trump's most ignored child, Tiffany Trump, has that story of her birth that lives publicly with her for her entire life, thanks to then abortion enthusiast Donald Trump. So Donald Trump has been lying about abortion every time he has spoken about it since he became a Republican candidate in 2015. He lied about it again today when he once again proudly took credit for ending abortion rights in this country. I was proudly the person responsible for the ending of something that all legal scholars, both sides, wanted and, in fact, demanded be ended. Roe v. Wade. All legal scholars on both sides is a Trumpian lie, of course. In fact, most legal scholars, like most people in the United States of America, very much wanted to preserve women's reproductive rights established in Roe versus Wade 51 years ago. Donald Trump then announced today a new position on abortion, which he was afraid to announce during the Republican presidential primaries because it could have cost him Republican votes in those primaries. My view is now that we have abortion where everybody wanted it from a legal standpoint, the states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both. Donald Trump's lie there, of course, is that everybody wanted to leave abortion up to the individual states. That is a lie. Most Americans did not want to have different abortion laws in each state. And now Donald Trump is taking full credit for making reproductive rights impossible for one-third of American women. The Washington Post reports nearly one in three women ages 15 to 44 live in a state where abortion is banned or severely restricted. Today, Donald Trump said, in effect, that he fully supports every abortion provided in the state of California, because that's California's choice. And at the same time, Donald Trump fully supports a five-year prison sentence for anyone involved in an abortion in the state of Idaho. That five-year prison term for involvement in an abortion in Idaho was upheld by three Trump-appointed federal appeals court judges. Lindsey Graham showed us today what would have happened if Donald Trump announced his leave it up to the state's policy while Republican candidates were still running against him. Senator Graham said, I respectfully disagree with President Trump's statement that abortion is a state's rights issue. I will continue to advocate that there should be a national minimum standard limiting abortion at 15 weeks. Donald Trump fired back immediately, saying, Senator Lindsey Graham is doing a great disservice to the Republican Party and to our country. At first, he wanted no abortions under any circumstances. Then he was up to six weeks where you're allowed abortion. Now he's up to 15 weeks. Lindsey Graham is considering himself lucky tonight that Donald Trump did not give out his cell phone number this time the way Donald Trump did during his first presidential campaign when he was angry at Lindsey Graham. I wrote the number down. I don't know if it's the right number. Let's try it. 202. 228, I don't know, maybe it's, you know, it's three, four years ago, so maybe it's an old number. 202, 228, so, I don't know, give it a shot. Trump voters gave it a shot, and Lindsey Graham had to get a new cell phone number.
and has spent every day of his life since then living in abject fear of Donald Trump. Donald Trump also said this in his rebuke of Lindsey Graham today. Many good Republicans lost elections because of this issue, and people like Lindsey Graham that are unrelenting are handing Democrats their dream of the House, Senate, and perhaps even the presidency. Donald Trump is right, of course, that the repeal of Roe versus Wade is one of the issues that will defeat Donald Trump in the election, especially now that Donald Trump is announcing that abortion for him is just a political calculation. But he is wrong to believe that he can teach ardent abortion opponents who believe that all abortion is murder that abortion is really just a political issue, that the Republican position on abortion should just be a political calculation. It should not be driven by factors like the rights of women, medical science, or morality, just politics. That is now the official Trump position on abortion rights, just a political calculation, no principles involved. The Biden-Harris campaign posted this video today about Amanda and Josh Zawoski, a Texas couple who attended this year's State of the Union address by President Biden after what they endured in Texas, thanks to Donald Trump. So this is one of our willow boxes. This is just filled with some of the things that we had started gathering for her while I was pregnant. Yep. There's her little baby book. This is the outfit that she was going to maybe wear home from the hospital. Now all of these. Um, this is the blanket that she was in. And these are her little footprints. Texas Congressman Colin Allred, now a candidate for Senate in Texas, will join our discussion in a moment. President Biden released this statement today. Trump doesn't tell you the mega Republicans he controls in Congress have put forward bills that could ban fertility treatments and that the Speaker of the House he empowered is one of the strongest supporters for a national abortion ban in the nation. Let there be no illusion. If Donald Trump is elected and the mega Republicans in Congress put a national abortion ban on the resolute desk, Trump will sign it into law. I am determined to restore the federal protections of Roe versus Wade. The fundamental right to choose for women will once again be the law of the land. If you give me and Vice President Harris a Democratic Congress, that is exactly what we will do. Trump is simply lying. There was no groundswell of support in America for overturning Roe. In fact, support for Roe is higher today in America than it has ever been. The real truth is Trump made a political deal in 2016. He promised to appoint a court that would get rid of Roe, and he had to make good on that debt. So he did. It was never about public policy or what was right or what Trump believed it was always about politics. It was always about politics. And Vice President Harris said this today. If he were to be put back in a position where he could sign off on a law, he would sign off on a national abortion ban. Let's be very clear about that. And that obviously makes the contrast between Joe Biden and Donald Trump quite clear. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it. 